hello children in our last uh, in my last video i have explained you a poem a nation's strength so today we are going to do the book exercise of the same poem so before starting let's see the picture can you see we can find some freedom fighters of our country who fought for our country to uh, from the britishers to get independence for the country so it's written he is mahatma gandhi he is bal gangadhar tilak he is bhagat singh he is jawaharlal nehru again he is bhagat singh they fought for the country something is written over here not gold but only men so can you see a person holding gold so and it is crossed so that only it is written not gold but only men like men like these people who fought for the country who were very brave and who were very strong okay can make a people great and strong a nation great and strong okay so we are going to learn from class 5 english reader this is poem to a nation's strength book exercise so let's start with new words first so what is the meaning of pillars support sound strong or stable bound means certain to do something prosper succeed meaning of wealth is money people is the citizens of a country owner means high respect past firm yeah secure suffer means to experience hurt or pain dare have the courage to do something and fly means to run away in the face of terror or to flee in the clean fear so here what we have to do comprehension is there choose the correct options to answer the following question so let's read and put tick mark or cross in the right answer what is not considered to be a nation's strength yes people are nation's strength land is also nation's strength sky is also nation's strength but gold is not only a nation's strength why do men stand fast and suffer long for food for wealth and riches for truth and honor or for strength so the answer is for truth and honor what kind of men work while others sleep brave people unhappy people happy people or desperate people so the answer is brave men work while others sleep what do men do after building a nation's pillars they fly away they dance or they sleep or they lift them to the sky yes after building a nation's pillars they lift them to the sky Let's move to the next page. Okay, it is think and answer the following questions, children. Here, what you have to do, you have to answer the following questions. What is the first question? What are some of the virtues that the people of a nation must have in order for it to achieve greatness? So, what you can write? In order for a nation to achieve greatness, the people must have a sound value system. should be strong truthful dedicated and committed to take nation towards prosperity so second question is how do nations become strong so just now we have read nations will not become strong from gold or jewelry or something like that but nations are made strong by its people they should be great and strong and at the same time they should be daring and truthful question 3 how should people react during hard hard times hard times means difficult times so during hard times people should have the strength and courage to stand fast they should be daring enough to face the problems and have lots of perseverance question number 4 do you agree that it is important to behave well not only when being observed but at at all the times like children we are telling you na behave well behave properly not only in front of teachers or parents or uh, when your relatives come but every time so 
Yes, I agree that it is important to behave well, not only when being observed, but at all the times. Children, because our goodness should not be only a show off. We should be good and truthful to one's own self too. Okay. Can you name any poem which awakens the feeling of nationhood? Yes, children. You all know Ravina Tagore. And you all have heard about his Gitanjali. So I am reciting two, three lines. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high. This is the opening lines and the ending lines are like this. Into that heaven of freedom, my father let my country awake. So you can write the answers by yourself now because the answers are very easy. You have to write in your own words. Let's move forward. Literary and appreciation. Read the following stanza from the poem. Not gold, but only man can make a people great and strong. Men who, for truth and honor's sake, stand fast and suffer long. Children, we have discussed rhyming words in a previous video. Like uh, make, shake, strong, long. Look at the blue arrow. This is the blue arrow. The last words in the first and the third lines are rhyme. Now look at the red arrow. This is the red arrow. The words in the second and fourth lines also rhyme. The poets often use a specific pattern to rhyme words in the stanzas. We call it the rhyme scheme. So what you have to do here, let's see. Read the following stanzas and write the last words of the lines which rhyme. So let's find the rhyming words here. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky. Children, I know you when you are very happy when I recited this poem. Why? Because in your childhood, in your class, pre prep or pre-nursery, you already have read this poem. I know you are, you uh, remember till now. So let's find the rhyming words here. First star, ours. Hi, sky. So these are the rhyming words. Let's, let's read the next one. Number two. The one who taught me everything, like how to crawl and walk. The one who taught me how to sing and learning how to talk. So the rhyming words are everything and sing, walk and talk. Third one. Whose words these are, I think I know. His house is in the village door. He will not see me stopping here to watch his wood fill up the snow. So very easy. No, snow are the rhyming words. Let's move. Okay, listen and tell. So I will say a, so you can say a short paragraph. Okay, because it's written here, listen carefully. So, I will say something and you have to listen carefully. And write the names of the leaders of a nation. Also, write the numbers in the given boxes in the order in which they appear in the listening text. So, I am going to read a short paragraph. And I will name these people, the pictures which you can see here. And you have to write the numbering and the name here. Okay, in the order. So, I am reading it out. India has had the good fortune of having many great leaders. Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj was the great king of Maratha Empire who ruled, ruled over 1674 to 1618. So can we find here Chhatrapati Shivaji? Yes. So he is number one. So write it Chhatrapati Shivaji. Next. Rani Lakshmi Bai of Jhansi was one of the leading figures of the revolt of 1857 against the British Raj. So can we find here Rani Lakshmi Bai? She is some number two and please write the name. Rabindranath Tagore was a great poet who gave up his knighthood in response to the Jallianwala Bagh massacre in 1919. So can we find Rabindranath Tagore? Yes, please write number three and his name. Mahatma Gandhi was the leader of India's non-violent independence movement against British rule. Can we find Mahatma Gandhi the first picture? So please write number four and his name. He is also known as the father of our nation. 
Ashant Bose, popularly known as Netaji, was an Indian freedom fighter who founded the Azad Hind Army in the year 1942. So the third picture, so we will write number five and his name. And the last one is Sardar Vallabhai Patel was an Indian politician who served as the first deputy prime minister of India. So he is number six. Please write his name. Okay. Be creative. Children, we know you all are very creative. Whatever work we give you, you do it very creatively, innovatively. So let's see what is given here. Imagining you have a friend in the USA, United States of America. So write an email that is electronic mail to your friend telling him about the Taj Mahal, which is one of the seven wonders of the world. Yes, sir. Yes, children, it is very beautiful, Taj Mahal. Many of us have not gone, but obviously we have read in the book, we have seen on television and many things. We have seen different kinds of pictures of Taj Mahal inside, outside. Okay. So what do you have to write? You have to do, you have to write an email. <clears throat> okay. So about, I will show you one sa sample of email, how to write. But before that, let's read the next question. It is talk time. Divide into pairs, discuss with your partner and write down all the things which you think are required to make a strong nation. Give reasons and share your views in the class. Children, we are not in class. You are at your home due to lockdown. So your partner will be your parents or siblings. So please discuss with them. You divide into pairs. Okay. And please share your views. You can take it as uh, against in favor or you can also do group discussion or you can take it as a debate. It depends on you. So I will tell you about email. Let's see the sample. Okay, come here. When you will open your Gmail, you will find the page something like this. So what you have to do first, you have to select compose. When you will select compose, you will see a page open like this, like the box like this. So here what you have to do the first one, you have to write the address of receiver, the email, email ID of the receiver. Then second, you will write your subject. What means like in the letter, informal letter or formal letter, we write the subject in the same way. Here you have to write the subject and then you can write here about Taj Mahal because the question is about the Taj Mahal so please write here Taj Mahal here about here now what you have to do suppose you have to show her the picture of Taj Mahal or your picture what you will do you will go to the attachment here and wherever you have saved from there you can select it and then later on what you will do there when you will complete all the things then please click on the send button and it will be sent to your friend's ID Gmail if she has Gmail, she can have Yahoo also, Reddit also. Fine. So I hope you have understood the book exercise. Please try to do on your own. Okay. And for the help, you can see the video. Thank you, children. Have a nice day.